Hello Facebook, hello Facebook. Good morning to everybody. Good morning to everybody in the USA, Canada, the other side of the world. And uh, it's about, for us here in Asia, it's just 10 minutes to midnight. We're ahead of you guys. Oh, the camera's here. So I just had a thought, this part of... How are you guys doing today? Can you guys hear me? I would love to hear some... Awesome! Thanks for that thumbs up! Awesome! I just chose this song that says, Don't wanna waste your life, man! Life is too precious! Hi, Missy! How are you? How are you? Awesome! So this is part of my fitness journal, accountability. Uh, I want to be accountable. Um, and today I almost, almost, uh, I almost stumbled. I almost did not go out. I was feeling lazy because the last three days I think I didn't go. Uh, I was celebrating with my wife. Her birthday, we were out in another city enjoying a beautiful hotel, all of that. But Today, I didn't want to go out to, to exercise. Hi Joel, how are you? What's up? <laughs> yep. I almost did not go up, but I chose to go up. Go out, you know, I just put on my workout clothes. And thanks to my wife, we both just went out. The moment I got out, I know I will start working out. But I almost kind of slipped into laziness. I almost kind of slipped into being comfortable. And uh, so that's what I want to talk about, man. The, the struggle to be comfortable, the struggle to do uh, and stay in your comfort zone, right? The struggle to stay in your comfort zone and not do anything that will facilitate your growth is real. It's real, man. I agree with you. It's not easy. It's not like we just wake up one day and we say, uh, every day of my life, I'm going to intentionally choose to grow, do things that will facilitate my growth in health, in fitness, in business, in spiritual life. It's not like we just put on something and we become Iron Man all of a sudden, ready to change the world, right? It's an intentional, conscious decision. It's an intentional, conscious stepping out of your comfort zone, out of your lazy spot, out of doing things that everybody else does. You know what's the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people? Well, the ones who are successful are simply the guys who did those things that unsuccessful people don't ordain or wouldn't do, right? So today I almost, almost, almost was lazy to go out and work out, but I did it. I did it. And tomorrow I will do it again. And the day after tomorrow, I will do it yet again. It's an intentional choice because this year is also a year of uh, physical harvest, man. I got to get these guns growing, man. Got to get my six pack. Uh, I want to read something for you, by the way. This is Kobe Bryant, okay? Um, this is when he was... This is when he went to uh, receive an award. Uh, the Icon Award, okay? He said... We are not on the stage just because of talent or ability. We are up here because of 4 a.m. It's, it's metaphorical. Okay, we are up here because of two a days or five a days. Kobe Bryant is saying this, okay? We're up here because we had a dream and we let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. And you would agree with me. Uh, there are plenty of people more talented than Kobe Bryant. There are plenty of athletes better and stronger than Kobe Bryant. But not a lot of them have achieved what Kobe Bryant did achieve because he spent those early hours working on his craft. He did what others wouldn't do. He did go that extra mile. Here's something I want to read for you. If the dream is small, there's no point doing things that others want. If your dream is really small, if your dream is just to be uh, another statistic, if your dream is just to be, if you're a school teacher, just another average school teacher, passionless, uninspiring school teacher, then you can just sit home and eat your donuts and do nothing to further your craft. But if you want to be extraordinary, 
if you want to be somebody that influences another person, influences lives, then the game changes. Then the hard things over the easy become intentional choices. Then comfortable things have to go out of the window and the discipline to put off instant gratification becomes normal. So um, I, I, I'm really happy that I was able to take a step, go out and work out, go out and uh, do that one hour of training or sport today rather than sitting at home um, and probably eating something. Hey, I saved on calories too, you know. Uh, so here's, here's Faith Emmanuel from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia telling you to go and be great, be extraordinary. Don't be ordinary. Don't stay in your comfort zone, man. Don't stay in your comfort zone. Go and be extraordinary. Put in that extra mile. Put in and do those things that your peers don't do. Do those, do that extra step. Choose life. Don't choose, step out of your comfort zone. Don't choose rubbish. Step out of your comfort zone. Go and be great. Facebook. Much love to all of you. Bye-bye.